Six ways empaths can be more awakened and become immune to toxic and psychic attack. Empaths, rejoice. Unleash your unique strengths and develop your inner superpower. Fellow empaths, there's something special about our abilities that sets us apart from the rest. And if you're wondering how to fully harness and develop your empathic gifts, you're in for a treat. Being an empath comes with its own set of challenges. It's easy to feel bogged down by all the emotions and energy in your environment, leaving you feeling drained and exhausted. However, it could be changing. Developing your empathic abilities allows you to tap into the extraordinary power of compassion, intuition, and a deep connection to those around you, as well as Mother Earth. However, without the right strategies, being an empath can become more of a hindrance than an asset, causing endless emotional turmoil and exhaustion. Fear not, my fellow empaths. We're here to show you that you can become unstoppable with the right protection and training techniques. That's right. We're talking about going from overwhelmed empath to highly skilled empath. And while there's no magic formula for doing it, we have some tips and tricks to share that will help you develop your empathic skills to their full potential. So come along for the ride and let's unlock the superpowers hidden within you. And if you find this video helpful and inspiring, don't forget to hit that like and share button. Help us spread the word so that all empaths out there can step into their greatness. 1. The Burden Phase of Empathy Like a bolt from the blue, empaths are faced with a unique set of challenges that often come with the discovery of their gifted abilities. An avalanche of emotions can threaten to crush them under the weight of their sensitivities, leaving them feeling like a walking contradiction, a deficiency, a burden to themselves. It's a struggle to come to terms with who you are when you're fundamentally different from the majority. The pressure to behave like society's mold can be overwhelming, and it's not easy to admit that you're struggling with something that most can't comprehend. The key is to let go. Inhale deeply and exhale. Feel your pulse slow as you confront the wall of emotions standing in front of you. Acknowledge your pain, understand where it's coming from, and don't fight it. Surrender to the weight of your empathetic powers. Only then can you begin to comprehend the magnitude of your abilities. 2. The Observation of the Elusive Opening one's soul to the entire range of emotions can feel like standing on the verge of a chasm. But in order to progress, you must first observe. Explore the labyrinth of your mind and heart to discover the source of these overwhelming emotions. What causes their eruption, and how do they manifest themselves to the senses? Can you observe, hear, and even taste them? Create a vivid, tangible mental image, and you will be one step closer to protecting your fragile psyche. Fear-inducing anxiety can feel like a swarm of fire ants consuming your internal organs, or it could be a sound, a grating and oppressive sound that makes your palms sweaty. It's easy to say that you should allow your emotions to flow over you like a river, but the actuality is much more difficult. The key is to perceive these feelings without becoming involved with them. You are the master of your emotions, and not vice versa. 3. Self-care, the ultimate frontier. You have entered the eye of the maelstrom, surrounded by an emotional whirlwind. You have surrendered to their force but managed to escape unharmed. Now is the time to move on to self-care's essential phase. Self-care transcends the realm of empathy and is rooted in our most primitive instincts. It is a concept applicable in all situations, regardless of whether you are an empath or not. Take the time to assess your current situation and acknowledge the need to reduce the incessant stimulation. Limit your exposure to environments and situations that elicit excessive emotional responses or seek refuge in a place of tranquility to recover. To live a healthier, happier existence, you must reconcile with your hypersensitivity. It will not be simple to manage, but with practice and perseverance, you will learn to attain a functional equilibrium. 4. Healing the Inner Vortex Avoidance strategies can only take you so far and may ultimately leave you adrift in a sea of sensory excess. How can you confront your issues while keeping your equilibrium? First and foremost, you must recognize that spiritual energy restoration is essential. Enter the world of meditation, 
a potent technique for calming the mind and releasing pent-up emotions. However, there's more. Effective shielding techniques produce an invisible barrier that prevents outside energies from infiltrating your space. You can become a vortex of positive energy unencumbered by the negativity of the outside world by harnessing the power of these practices. It won't be simple, but with commitment and an open mind, you'll soon be on your way to a healthier, more balanced lifestyle. 5. The Art of Empathic Mastery you have attained the pinnacle of empathy awareness, and the journey to get there has been arduous without fail. However, much remains to be learned. Reprogramming the subconscious mind is not simple, but it is essential for controlling the effects of your ability on your health. Letting go of your automatic absorption of other people's emotions and suffering requires a tremendous level of mental strength. Nonetheless, the fruits of your labor are tangible. You may feel more at ease in bustling masses or in your own skin when you are unburdened by external influences. Your growing expertise will enable you to swiftly and effortlessly understand other people's energy without feeling exhausted by doing so. You will join a select group of individuals with the ability to communicate with others on a deeper level and assist them in their struggles if you acquire such power. You will begin to experience the truly transformative power of empathy as you assume greater control over your daily life. 6. Enlightened Empathic Prowess Now, after an extensive period of preparation, you can catapult yourself into the public space with unwavering confidence, unencumbered by the many emotions that once overwhelmed you. You can apprehend the emotional energy of others without absorbing it like a sponge, and if you deem it appropriate, you may provide support without taking on the emotional burden. You are now skilled in detecting and segregating your emotions from those of others. You are less affected by external energy while being more aware of the energy in your environment. Hallelujah! You have transcended the ranks of the uninitiated and now realize that empathy is a lifestyle rather than a sideline. Erdo, you must be self-aware and consistently apprehend and purge yourself of unwanted energy. However, this journey is not complete. In fact, it has only just begun, and there is still a great deal of work to be done. What are your thoughts? Did this captivating video captivate you? If you have any insights or personal experiences to contribute, please do so in the section below. And don't forget to hit subscribe and the notification bell to keep in step with our latest releases. Thanks for watching. So, being an empath comes with its own set of challenges, but developing your empathic abilities allows you to tap into the extraordinary power of compassion, intuition, and a deep connection to those around you. However, without the right strategies, being an empath can become more of a hindrance than an asset, causing endless emotional turmoil and exhaustion. But, my fellow empaths, now we all know that we can become unstoppable with the right protection and training techniques. Right? Like a bolt from the blue, empaths are faced with a unique set of challenges that often come with the discovery of their gifted abilities. It is easy to feel bogged down by all the emotions in your environment, leaving you feeling drained and exhausted. It is a struggle to come to terms with who you are when you are fundamentally different from the majority. The pressure to behave like society's mold can be overwhelming, and it is not easy to admit that you are struggling with something that most can't comprehend. I know the feeling. Developing your empathic skills starts with observing the elusive. Explore the labyrinth of your mind and heart to discover the source of these overwhelming emotions. What causes their eruption and how do they manifest themselves to the senses? Create a vivid tangible mental image and you will be one step closer to protecting your fragile psyche. The key is to perceive these feelings without becoming in fourth with them. You are the master of your emotions and not vice versa. Self-care transcends the realm of empathy and is rooted in our most primitive instinct. Take the time to assess your current situation and acknowledge the need to reduce the incessant stimulation. Limit your exposure to environments and situations that elicit excessive emotional responses or seek refuge in a place of tranquility to recover. To live a healthier, happier existence, you must reconcile with your hypersensitivity. 
Avoidance strategies can only take you so far and may ultimately leave you adrift in a sea of sensory excess. How can you confront your issues while keeping your equilibrium? First and foremost, spiritual energy restoration is essential. Enter the world of meditation, a potent technique for calming the mind and releasing pent-up emotions. Effective shielding techniques produce an invisible barrier that prevents outside energies from infiltrating your space. You can become a vortex of positive energy unencumbered by the negativity of the outside world by harnessing the power of these practices. Reprogramming the subconscious mind is not simple but it is essential for controlling the effects of your ability on your health. Non-attachment requires a tremendous level of mental strength. Nonetheless, the fruits of your labor are tangible. You may feel more at ease in bustling masses or in your own skin when you are unburdened by external influences. After an extensive period of preparation, you can catapult yourself in the public space with unwavering confidence. You can apprehend the emotional energy of others without absorbing it like a sponge and if you deem it appropriate, you may provide support without taking on the emotional burden. You are not skilled in detecting and segregating your emotions from those of others, you are less affected by external energy while being more aware of the energy in your environment. Congratulations, you have transcended the ranks of the uninitiated and now realize that empathy is a lifestyle rather than a sideline. Developing empathic skills takes time and practice but persevering will yield remarkable results. Don't forget to hit subscribe and the notification bell to keep in step with our latest releases. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a nice day everyone.